Hi you guys, so today I wanted to film a video because I recently got a swag bag from Estee Lauder. I guess I shouldn't call it a swag bag, it's not a swag bag. I got a bag of goodies from Estee Lauder and I also wanted to show you what is in the Ipsy Glam bag for this month. But the main star of this show is the bag I got from Estee Lauder. So let's jump into the video. I will start with the Ipsy Glam bag. So this is the glam bag for May. Um, I get one every month. It's 10 bucks a month and they send it to your house. Now I find that these bags are a hit or a miss because sometimes I find that the products in them are awesome. Last month was great. I got that highlighter. I got that highlighter brush. I got a bunch of really good stuff that I really enjoyed. Um, and then there's other months that I, I don't like some of the products and I kind of say, eh, whatever. But I put them together and I give them to people that um, I know would use them. So I try to always put them to good use. So for the month of May, they always come in a different little bag. So this month it comes in a little bag like this and it snaps shut. I think there's pink ones too, but I got a purple one. So, and then you open the bag and you get five to six products a month. So the first product that I'm going to pull out is by the organic pharmacy and it's called antioxidant lip balm I haven't tried this yet so can you see that there you go I haven't tried this one yet so I will keep you guys posted but I love lip balms this has shea butter in it and rose hip to keep lips soft so I love lip products I will definitely be using this I'll probably throw it in my purse so that I can use it um, kind of on the go. It looks to be, let's see if it's clear. Mm, it won't come out. Yep, so it looks to be, it reminds me of Carmex. And it kind of comes out clear. So I will definitely be getting use out of that. The next product I got, I haven't even taken this out yet, is this brush. I got it from, well, who's the company? It is a small contour brush and it is made by, oh geez, I can't read it, Slim, Miss Glam, that's what I see out of it, Miss Glam, and it's just a brush like this. This is the small contour brush, the W07. And I don't know if I'll use this brush. I use the Kat Von D, the double-ended brush, for my contour, but I could definitely give this a try and see if maybe I like it. Maybe it will give me a more precise contour, so I will keep you guys posted. And what else is in here? Okay. We got a Hungry Hair Oil Treatment from Eva NYC. Now, I got an oil treatment last month or the month before for my hair, and I'm still using it. So this is the thing that I find is that they do send kind of multiples every month and I can't get through the product that I got. So I'm still using the other hair oil. So then like this one, I don't like to mix too much stuff in my hair. So I might wait until the other one's gone before I start to use this one. I also got a Smashbox X-Rated Mascara Volumizer. This is the mini guy. And I have one of these in my mascara drawer right now. And the brush looks like it. And I was getting ready to get rid of it because it's starting to get old. And I like to throw my mascaras out in time so they don't get expired. So this will be perfect because I'll be replacing the old one. And the last item I got is the Bella Pierre. This is a gel lip liner. And it is in the color nude it looks more to be like a rose color though i don't know if you guys can see that but it looks more to be a rose color i didn't open it so unfortunately i won't be able to swatch it for you because i am not playing with this wrapping i hate when they wrap eyeliners and lip liners because they like it's like impossible to get into them i usually have to make my husband open them because they're such a pain in the ass to open but um but yeah, I love the Ipsy Glam bag. If you're interested in kind of those new subscription bags that are coming out, then I would definitely check this one out. Some of them can be really pricey. Of course, I get this off with no problem. 
but I like this one because it's 10 bucks a month and it's really not that bad and I get a lot of products that I like from it. So that's the swatch. I think I will definitely use this color. I love these rosy nude colors, so I will definitely be using this lip liner. So overall, I definitely got a good bag. Um, I would definitely give it four out of five stars. So good job for this month, Ipsy. And on to the start of our show. I got a big bag from Estee Lauder. Now, the reason I got this bag was because my dad works for the company that makes some of the tubes for Estee Lauder and the other companies owned by Estee Lauder. So in the winter and in the spring, they, I have a hair on my nose, they come out with a bag that you can get at kind of a discounted price. So I paid a discounted price for the bag with all the products in it. They pick the products and then we get a bag in the spring and then in the winter as long as we pay for it. So I wanted to show you guys this bag because I have been waiting for it forever. It's like Christmas. So I wanted to show you everything that I got and then I'm definitely going to start using these products. So I will let you know. So the first thing that I got was by Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB City Swept Finish Spray. It's a simple hold spray. Um, I will be using this because I don't have a good hairspray right now and I don't know if you can like smell it. No, it smells like hairspray. So I am always looking for a good hairspray because I feel like I haven't really found the right one. I feel like they make my hair crunchy or they don't hold my hair in place at the end of the day. So I will definitely be looking for something. This does not smell like hairspray. It smells like men's cologne. <laughs> so I got that. What else is in here? And then they came with these two like little, this is like the big bag. And then it came with a little like baby bag. So they came like inside of each other. I did open some of this stuff because I just wanted to make sure that I had it out and organized and open. So um, I'm going to open up like the big bag and I'll show you the stuff that comes in that as well. So the first thing that I'm pulling out, and I'm just pulling out everything randomly. The first thing that I pulled out is from MAC. So I can imagine maybe this was one of the holiday collection palettes. I'm not really sure. But this is a MAC palette. Um, it comes like this. Oh, sorry. I'm blinding you. So it comes like that. I'm really excited to try this one. Some of the stuff I'm not going to swatch because... I'm going to give it away, but um, I will definitely be using this palette. So this one I will be keeping for myself. Um, what else is in here? The next one is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Long Lasting Lip Jewels. So it looks like it comes in 50, color 55 blushing, 16 candy, and 23 fig. So it looks like those colors. Now, I am not a big lipstick girl, so I will definitely be giving this one away because... I haven't found a good lipstick formula that I like. I'm more of a gloss girl, so this one I'm definitely going to be giving out to somebody else. Next up is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Nail Liqueur, and this is the color Negligé Matte. So this is probably a nude color, I would imagine. Yep. And it is a, like, white, pink nude. This would be cute, like, on your nails, because those nude colors are out right now. So I think that this would definitely be popular for the nudes that are popular on nails right now. And then there's another palette in here by Estee Lauder. Um, it's called the Lisa Perry palette. I'm sure that Lisa Perry is a person that made this palette in collaboration. Now this looks like to be a really beautiful palette. It's got, you know, those pops of color in there. It's got the golds and the browns in it. Um... Definitely I'm seeing more nudes, but there's a lot of pops of color in here with the purple and there's the pinks and then like the, kind of the dark browns. So I um, think that this would be good for like somebody that's starting out with makeup and maybe isn't really confident about what they're wearing or like a teen. So I think I might consider giving this one away, but um, I think that this is probably a really good palette. And then inside this bag, it also came with another little, like, makeup bag. So this is, like, a good bag. I feel like this is good for travel. So the first product in here is the Clinique Different Lipstick. And then on the other end, it has the Lash Doubling Mascara. So the color for the lipstick is kind of like a, like, red, 
brown type of color. Again, I'm not a fan of lipstick, so this might not be my cup of tea. But I might use the other end of this, which is the mascara, because I love mascara, and I'm always trying to find, like, a good one. So I like that it's double-ended, because I feel like you always need a lip product, and you always need, like, mascara just in case you need to touch it up. So I think that this is kind of, like, a genius idea. And then what else is in here? This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Baby Tint, and this is Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is, it comes like this. This is kind of a bright color for me. I don't know how I feel about this color. Um, but the payoff doesn't seem to be a lot. It's right here. And it seems to be pretty sheer. So maybe the packaging is kind of deceiving and it will actually be something that I can wear and use. The next thing I'm pulling out is Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. And this is in the color Forest. So I would imagine it's probably a green color. And yeah, it looks to be like a dark kind of green color. And that's that dark color that comes up. It's almost like a black green. So um, that would be great with like a smoky eye to like go out at nighttime. I think that that would be a really cute color to go out like with your girlfriends like clubbing or something like that. And then in here we have the Clinique Chubby Six Shadow Tint. Okay, so they give you a lip one and then they give you an eye one. And this is in the color, no color. This is in the color two-ton teal. So I guess green is going to be very popular. These teals and, um, oh, I think I like this one better kind of than the Bobbi Brown one because I feel like it's a little bit more wearable. Um, so that's definitely really cute. I like that it comes in a stick because that means it's kind of mobile and you can take it where you, if you need to go somewhere and kind of like touch it up as you go. And then the last thing in this little bag is the Clinique quads. And this is in... Let's see, it says it comes with On Safari Lemongrass Buttered Toast Duo. So, okay, so again with the greens. So it's got like that bright green, the forest green, and the brown. And I'll swatch the green for you. Can you guys see that? Here, let me do a darker swatch. Now, I feel like Clinique shadows are really great for somebody that's just starting out with makeup as well because see, yeah. because I feel like you can build these colors and you can keep building and building and it's, it's not too overwhelming. So for somebody that's just starting out with makeup or maybe is really interested in starting with color that you can build it, them up and you can build up the color. So it's good for somebody that's a beginner so it's not too overwhelming. So that was the big bag. And then the little bag is right here that came inside of it. And this has stuff in it as well. The first thing I pulled out was the Repair Wear Laser Focus, which smooths, restores, and corrects. I will most definitely be using this because I love skincare products. And then the next one is the High Definition Essentials for Lips and Eyes, Pure Color Gloss, and Sumptuous Build Volume Lifting Mascara. So there's a duo in here. So the first one is the gloss, which seems to be that like brown, rosy color, and then the mascara that comes with it. And this one has a nice brush too. I like all these travel mascaras because they're, they're really good for just that, for traveling. You can take them and they're not too big. You can take them in your luggage, so I like that. The next one is a pressed pigment by MAC. This is in the color deeply dashing so I'm I always get excited about the Mac products because I feel like Mac is really expensive so when I get these bags I've gotten these bags before that the pressed pigments are awesome this looks to be super super glittery though so um it's like a brown glitter it's very very glittery so it's this color right here So, um, I did just put my finger in this and swatch it. So 
I guess now I'm stuck with it, but <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit glittery, but maybe you can kind of put a darker brown over it and kind of work with it that way. The next thing I pulled out is a dramatically different moisturizing lotion. I love this stuff. Again, these travel sizes are awesome. And the last thing I pulled out of here is the Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Gel Cream. This is, I would imagine, for under your eyes. I think I've used this one before, and I really like this one, so this will get a lot of use, too. I love the skincare products. And the last ones in here, four more things. These ones are kind of like the higher-end stuff, so they give you, like, those travel little ones, and then they kind of give you the big-ticket items. So the first big-ticket item is this Clinique. This looks to be, like, a holiday set. And it is. It's the happy set. So it comes with five little happies, um, a wealth of flowers, a hint of citrus, Clinique Happy in Bloom, Clinique Happy Heart, and the normal Clinique Happy. So these are like fun little travel sizes. I feel like this would be a really good Christmas gift for somebody. So I'll have to find something that doesn't watch this video and I can give to them for Christmas or keep it for myself. I'll probably keep it for myself. I just love perfume. So... I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. The next one I got is the Estee Lauder Pleasures Florals. Now, I tried to find this online to see if I could um, find it in store, but I couldn't find it on Sephora. I didn't really look that hard either. So, um, this one, this one I love. This one is like floral. Like, this one is just, it smells like flowers. I love this one. I'm definitely going to be getting good use out of this. It comes in a glass kind of bottle like this. I will definitely be using this one for summer. And then um, this one my mom gave me because I got a perfume and then she got a perfume in her bag. But she didn't like her perfume, so I took it. This one is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Now I looked this one up on Sephora. And this one I think retailed at $65. So um, that's good. I paid $70 for the bag. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. And this one just smells like, I'm showing you, like you can see it. This one smells like sunshine, like, like, t like lotion, like tanning oil, maybe when you're going to the beach, like it just reminds me of sunshine. It smells like summer and suntan lotion, like oil, but like a good oil. I am definitely going to use this one. I feel like this would be good on like a sexy, like date night where you want to like feel like sun kissed and glowy. Um, but it is a perfume. It's not like a glow or anything, but it, um, smells like the sunshine. And then the biggest ticket item that we got in these bags, and this is kind of the star of the show, is the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. It comes in this giant box. This one retails for $154. I looked it up on the Sephora website, so this may, must be something new that's coming out or is already out. Um... This is for your face. It is um, supposed to like firm and tighten and brighten. And it's a serum that you put on. You put two pumps on in the morning and two pumps on at night. And it's supposed to kind of make your skin look more youthful. So this product I am definitely really excited to try. Clinique has never steered me wrong with skincare. I love their skincare. So... All the skincare products from Clinique I will definitely be using. So I will keep you posted on these as I go. Um, the ones that I gift, obviously, I won't be able to tell you how they go. But the other ones, I will definitely let you guys know. I'm probably, with these skincare products, will do at some point an updated skin tutorial. Kind of just, not really tutorial, but just letting you guys know what's good right now and what's working, what's kind of worth your money. Am I going to purchase this $154 serum again? Probably not. That's really expensive for a serum. Um, but it's kind of fun to try it, you know, get to try the expensive products. So that is it for this video. This bag is empty. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you guys will go out and get some of these skin products. I will definitely keep you posted as I try them. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like it down below, and give me some comments. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!